you have a boat and your boat is at its capacity and in order for your boat to not sink and go underwater and that could be your career that could be your life that can be your your personal life your relationships is that relationship over do you feel mentally spiritually and emotionally stimulated in that relationship are you just holding on to it because you got this concept of loyalty that you have over abused overused and over abused well I've learned that loyalty has an expiration date loyalty isn't some open-ended thing that just goes on forever because technically some people just don't really make sense for your life and the new season the mind and the space that you're in think about this this is this is the this is a reminder that loyalty has an expiration date you ever been in a relationship with some folks three years ago and then you run into them and you're like man what the fuck was I thinking dating her or dating him and you almost want to beat yourself up for even the fact that you were in love or had all of these ridiculous feelings for this person that shows you right there that that loyalty has an expiration date you could never see yourself not being with that person but at a certain point all of the signs and wonders revealed itself that that relationship is over so if you had drugged that person those people those friends those family members those situations into the new season of your life your life wouldn't be going as well as it's going right now I want you to stop playing the victim you are not the victim you decided that those are your friends you decided that those are the people that you want to spend time with you decided this is what you wanted to do with your day when you get invited to places doesn't mean you have to show up especially if you know what your experience is going to be like with these people no one wants to be alone why spend the rest of your life being miserable frustrated and insecure not really feeling as good as you have a responsibility to feel feeling good isn't just an opportunity feeling good is a responsibility that we all have for ourselves I don't need a million people around me if I don't like you I don't fuck with you and guess what I actually don't care what you say about me I don't remember the last time I lost sleep over a hater and the things that people are running around saying blogs websites conversation tweets and I don't lose sleep over haters why because I know exactly how I feel about me and even if something appears to be very different than what it really is I don't even mind that you're talking shit about the things that you're assuming that's really going on I know what's happening I know who I am I know what my intentions are I know my heart and more importantly God knows my heart so for it to appear appear to be this appear to be that and then you running around saying whatever you're saying about me that's fine you go right on ahead and say it you have a job to do you're bored you have nothing going on in your life so you focused on my life it's the way it is <laughs> listen y'all we have control of our minute our hour our day our week our month and our year stop running around being on the receiving end of whatever people want to dump on you you showed up you accepted that invite you invited these people to your house you're in a relationship with that man you're in a relationship with that woman that's you so how do you feel at the end of your night it's always going to be based on the people that you decided to include in your day your week your month your year your minute your hour you got 24 hours in a day when you go to sleep at night how are you going to feel about your day all depends on who you decide to include in your day stop running around acting as if you don't have a choice you do have a choice you do have a choice you're a dysfunctional motherfucker so you love dysfunctional people you love rumors you love issues you love problems you love people calling you with their problems you love it 
That's why at the end of every night you are drained because you are submerged yourself in dysfunctional things, people, and situations. People come at me, hey man, I heard, man, don't, don't, don't talk to me about no fucking rumors. Don't talk to me about other people's problems and situations. I don't invite that shit in my life so it doesn't show up. Stop playing the victim. Stop running around acting as if you have nothing to do with the people, things, and situations in your life. I love you. I'm tired of these grown-ass men and grown-ass women running around acting as if they don't have a choice. You have a choice. I'm a grown man. Where are the most crazy, insane thugs, gangsters, crips, bloods, dysfunction, where can I find and seek trouble? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. And you decide to walk in that direction. And what the fuck do you expect the outcome to be? You're hanging out with crazy people. Do you expect the outcome of your day to be regular and okay? Where is a heartbreak? Where is someone that's going to make me feel insecure, make me feel bad about myself? Where are they? Ah, there they are. So let me walk in that direction. I love myself enough to say that I want to walk in the direction of peace, love, spiritual folks that are always evolving and trying to better themselves, seeking wisdom and knowledge and how to take better steps and better directions to do better and want better for their career, their life. They have talents. Those people that you're around is not going to help further your career. You know that. It's been revealed to you a long time ago. But because you don't want to be alone, you'd much rather hang out with a bunch of people that ain't going to do shit for you. You have a choice. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. See that? I got one eye. In the land of the blind, you have people that have eyesight, but they choose to not use things that have clearly been revealed to them. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. Most of the people out here are blind. They don't see what's right in front of them. And so they choose to just disown it. Push it to the bag. No, 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 no. I didn't see that. No, no, no. I'm going to let it fall on deaf ears. I didn't really hear that. I don't like the way I feel. I'm going to ignore the way I feel about being in these situations around these friends and these people. I'm going to ignore that. I'm going to disown that. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. If you make it to the end of this video, I want you to write that. I want better for you. The question is, do you want better for yourself? Don't claim to love yourself when you're waking up every day and deciding to include these people, things, and situations in your life. That's, that is not moving like a man or a woman who truly loves themselves. When you love yourself, you want better for yourself. That's what it is. I want you to write, in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. I love you. Wherever you are in the world, I want you to share this video. I want you to share this video. But I have a message on my heart that I had to put out there. I love you. I'm your mentor. I'm your big brother. I'm your uncle. I'm your cousin. More importantly, I'm your friend. I hope God, I hope I made you proud on this message, God. I love you. Peace.